Hi everyone, Marianne Markowitz. Have you ever felt guilty about setting a boundary? Our beliefs around those boundaries will strongly influence whether we create healthy ones or not. So how many times have you said no to something and then felt guilty about it? Let me invite you to explore what a healthy brown boundary means for you. And so this week, just kind of be taking inventory on where those little pings are. It might be a ping of, oh, I feel really good about saying no gracefully. Or it might be, oh God, I'm agonizing, I'm agonizing about saying no to this person. Those are boundaries, healthy or not, these are boundaries. So a boundary could be something around time, meaning I'm protective of the time that I set aside for a project. It could be I've incorporated a new healthy lifestyle and a friend keeps asking me to go out to pizza with them. And so how are you going to negotiate, love, incorporate negotiating with healthy boundaries? Because very often, again, if we believe we're going to hurt somebody's feelings or they're not going to like us, then we are the ones that end up feeling used and we just feel like nobody respects me because you're wanting them to just read your mind and know what you want. So healthy boundaries. Here's, think of all of the movie scripts written about someone invading somebody's boundary around time. For instance, writers come to mind. Jimmy Kahn in Misery. He was furious anytime somebody perceived or otherwise interrupted his train of thought. For some reason, I've only been able to think of these really old movies. Um, Jack Nicholson from The Shining. Oh, my goodness. You know, again, he's typing and you just think he's so busy. And then, you know, camera cuts back another time. And there is the bunch of blank paper there. Again, how many movie scripts have been write, written about this? So that's an example of someone who basically wants to have a fortress around them when it comes to their boundaries with their time. So how are you? Are you someone who has healthy boundaries? Do you know how to establish these for yourself? So think about what are healthy boundaries for me? And just think this week, I want you to jot down what are three things you feel like are boundaries for you. Again, it might be your time. It might be a new healthy habit. And it might also be um, uh, how you um, interface and say no to others. So again, just think about what, what's a boundary? What's my relationship to a boundary? And Am I protecting it in a healthy way or am I being very snarky about it, which is, again, not healthy. That can kind of come across as, as um, passive anger. So what's your relationship with your boundaries? And if, if we know what they are, then we can begin to cultivate them and make them healthy. So think about what's a boundary and think about times when somebody has overstepped one of those boundaries. Can you look at those three? I've given you the exercise this week to pick three personal boundaries and have they been overstepped? And look at, is there a commonality around me feeling like my boundaries have been overstepped. What's a common theme around this boundary? And just again, how does it make you feel? Because if you are 
in flow when you're working and you have clarity of thinking, then, then you have a healthy boundary around that project and you're not feeling violated. And versus if you feel like everybody's always interrupting me, interrupting me, and you have to build that fortress around you. Again, look and see if there are commonalities around other things in your life where you feel the same way. Because if you can recognize the pattern, then you have the opportunity to incorporate and bring in some change. Because it may be you, meaning you may always have that negative response to somebody interrupting you. And it may be because when you were a kid and you were doing your homework, just an example, um, and your mom kept screaming, dinner's ready, dinner's ready, dinner's ready. And you, even though somebody is not violating that healthy boundary in this moment, you may perceive it that way because it's, it's, it's an ingrained habit in you to snap back at that person. So look at what are your patterns and how can you bring in more protection if you find that you need it. Again, you may find that you are just lashing out to people. So think about what are the what are some healthy boundaries? Actually, just what are some boundaries? Pick three boundaries that you feel you can identify. And then what are the um, commonalities within those? How do you feel if you think someone has violated that? And then create a metaphor around your boundaries. You know, are you someone who, again, has so many boundaries around you, around your time, your projects, your the way you'll eat, that you just are completely inaccessible to others around you? Or are you more, um, don't love the word, but transparent? You have some imaginary bubble around yourself where um, things can, you have more of a give and take with your friends. And imagine having a, a mentor with you this week. And ask that mentor, how can I make this a, a healthy habit? And how can I say no in a loving way and just access that mentor, just, just the conscious thought of, I need some help on this, will bring that energy into you. All right, report back.